Hi, I'm David and this is the 2024 Holiday Hack Challenge Hardware Hacking 101 Part 2. So in the previous video, we obtained some important information, what we need to do for Part 2. Uh, we are going to have a very easy time with the easy challenge and the hard part is a bit more complex, but it was pretty easy as well, if I can, if I remember correctly, yeah, it took me um, a couple minutes probably to solve that one as well. So uh, let's take a look. So we left off with Jewel telling us that we need to go and use now the terminal to grant access to card number 42, obviously 42. Um, there is a tool sent as little helper or SLH available on the terminal. But it's password protected and we need to find the password first so um joel tells us that we uh have to look around for the password it's often found um lying around which is a very very cool so hiding um in plain sight is or hidden in plain sight uh is uh, one of the hints that we get and uh it's in the signature part is now that I realize it's something that I should have used initially. <laughs> um, I used a different tool, but obviously CyberChef is a very useful one. So there's an HMAC uh, code in the database that they use for the access card management. And um, it is um, um, going to be necessary for the hard part of the challenge. We'll check that one um, as we... Um, and solve the challenge so uh, let me just navigate to the side of the terminal it's not necessary you can just click on it but i mean it's more fun when you're actually playing the game so this terminal um kind of emulates how a iot device would start uboot um there's no need to boot to the uboot console but that is often a way to bypass some restrictions and the terminal um, lands you with the um, SLH tools help but the problem is that we will not be able to um, access anything so if we try to um, uh, for example uh, use the ID card and set the access level to full access um, I'll demonstrate this SLH and then uh, if we want to do a uh, dash set access one ID 42. Uh, we're going to say, uh, get an invalid passcode access not granted, which is normal because it requires a passcode and we need to find that passcode. That's the task. So looking around, just clear the terminal screen here. Uh, we see that we have access cards. Um, now I will try to do just ahead, but it's, um, We'll see why it's probably going to, yeah, okay, so we just getting a few lines here. I'm a little bit afraid to get more than a couple lines. Uh, 10 is the default for head. Forgot about that. So, okay, yeah, that's perfect. So we see here um, some of the, the records and some gibberish. We also see some HMAC secret. This will be useful for the hard part of the challenge. Aside from these, there's not much, but we have a bashy straight file. It is always, always a good idea when you do, for example, penetration testing to check the bash history. Very often you will find, well, just being index passwords in the bash history. And this case is no different. We can see one command where the passcode was used. Candy cane crunch 77 is the passcode apparently. And if we can get the back of the help of the tool uh, we can provide the passcode the id and the set access parameters according to the challenge and the passcode that we found and when we hit enter we get the new narrative because this is the last challenge for act one and we also get the gold achievement Oh, sorry, the silver achievement, rather, for uh, hardware hacking part two. 
different objectives. We have a silver for the overall hardware hacking because hardware hacking part two is only silver. So to sort of upgrade this to gold, we need to solve the hard part of part two. And again, for the narrative part, um, we see that the elves are kind of divided. So if you um, do the conversation with all the elves, they will talk about how Santa is once again missing and how they keep on doing the uh, usual regular tasks that they always do and how it is causing some um, disturbance uh, in the um, amongst the amongst the elves because uh, they don't have proper access uh, they don't know when Santa is so they're they're a little bit stressed um, and and sort of divided so a couple of elves they they're not really happy how uh, things are are going uh, after solving the silver challenge make sure that you do talk to jewel because we get some information how you might be able to directly modify the database that's a hard challenge and you have to generate an hmac value for this so let's go back to the terminal once again and um poke around a bit so the thing is there is a view config option for the slh i'm not sure if this is really just supposed to give you an error message here but you cannot load the config table for some reason and even if you try it with a passcode it says config table from access cards database not loaded okay um, but it says it's a database. So there are a couple of things that we can try out. So first of all, we are in a home directory. We can check if there are like other user homes and no, it's seemingly just, um, oh, sorry. It's just the SLH users directory here. Um, if you list out, just actually list the files like this. The files in the root folder, we see this ngpoint.sh, which looks interesting. At least I first took a quick look inside this one. And we can see that this is running some sort of validation, but as root. And this is, I think, actually the check uh, that is running to solve the challenge. So it is not really the direction where you want to go. Um, we can also check where the SLH tool is located. It's under user bin. Um, um, you can take a look inside this binary. Uh, you will not find anything useful. Let me just go back to our home directory. And uh, we want to take probably a look at the access cards. So one thing that you can easily try out is check what kind of file is this? What kind of database this might be? It turns out it's a SQLite database, which is great news because if we have uh, the SQLite database client installed, which we do, then we potentially can access the database. Now, um, a few other things that I was trying out as I was you know, poking around was just try to find information about HMAC and um, the access cards is a binary file uh, for forcing grab to treat everything as ASCII. You can use the dash a option and um, we can see that inside the access cards file, there is something called HMAC secret, uh, which could be useful. That's actually the HMAC secret here. I just know this because um, I uh, already solved the challenge before, but probably the clearest and nicest way of doing it is just trying to connect to the database and drop into the SQLite prompt. So databases uh, with the dot. So in SQLite these um, special queries uh, will give you there we go. Um, the information about the databases so we have the main database access cards we have read write privileges what tables are available the tables will give us two tables access cards and config well, obviously for config 
uh, we do have the um, each Mac related information and for the access cards we, we should be able to find the information the access cards uh, schema uh, schema um, access cards Let's copy this one so I don't have to type it uh, will give us the schema of this um, table which has um, the primary key the UID the access um, type and the signature is um, an HMAC. The other schema that we might be interested in is the config one. Paste it in, uh, which has ID, config key, config value. Um, so at this point, we probably would like to check what's inside the access cards. So we still need to modify ID 42 here and ID 42, so it's the primary key here, our ID. Uh, this is the UUID, this is the access type. So we have a zero here and we want to change this to a one, but we cannot just simply update this table because this HMAC signature, this part here, uh, should be adjusted accordingly. And, um, for this, we probably would like to take a look inside the config table. In the config table, you will find the HMAC secret, the message format. So this is access and UUID. These curly brackets are really just telling you that these are the values that you need to substitute here. You don't need the curly brackets. I made the mistake initially and tried to calculate the uh, secret like so. Uh, Oh, sorry, the, the signature uh, like, like so. So placing the actual values inside curly brackets, that's not the right way of doing it. Now, also for the HMAC secret, if you just search for this, um, sure, oh, there's a little bit of Hungarian text here. Uh, you will find, for example, on MD5 calc that the uh, SHA256 hash for pizza is this hash value. So. This uh, is actually just the SHA2 hash of the word pizza. Um, you can also try the admin password, you will not find it. Um, but the thing is that this is really the secret. It is not uh, something that you need to try to crack or well find the um, base string. But this is the HMAC secret that you need to use. Again, uh, with a couple of tries, you can figure this one out. I'm just telling you that this is what we need to calculate the HMAC part. And we had a hint where we were requested to potentially use CyberChef. There are other tools out there that will calculate the HMAC for you. I think CyberChef is a pretty nice and easy one. So um, I already saved here my recipe with the URL. And you can see that um is this still the correct id close this one um c09 um yeah c089 so you have the access value which is a one and then the uuid and you use the here the the secret as is not you know not pizza this will, this will not give you the correct result. So this is um, how you want to configure your HMAC calculation, and that is the value that we need. So going back here to the terminal, we can run an update query, which will look like this. Again. So look like this. So we're updating access cards. Uh, where the ID is 42, we're going to set the access field to 1 and we're going to change the signature. The moment I hit enter on this, after a bit of waiting, we have access granted and it is the end of the challenge. Brilliant work. Now we have access to the wish list. We also have the gold achievement. Other objectives so have the gold trophy for the entire hardware hacking 101 part.
These are pretty cool little challenges. I enjoyed all of them. Uh, the core one was relatively simple, but as I mentioned in the video for curling, I suspect that that is just prepping us for something really mind-bending and difficult for the upcoming challenges. The hardware hacking ones were a ton of fun, um, especially the the hardware hacking part one. I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, this part two was also nice and, and realistic with the, the SQLite database and also like finding the password and uh, bash history. So nice realistic challenge um, overall. And um, the frosty keypad one was, was also a, a fun little challenge. Hope you also enjoyed it. Uh, I am going to release these videos um, the very same moment uh, the Act 2 challenges are released, but the Act 2 challenges, um, the solution videos will probably take me a few days um, because I will be traveling, so I need some extra time to record. I can tell if it's going to be released on the 4th of December or maybe the 5th of December. I'll do my best to release it as fast as possible but I just don't know how uh, the first week of December will play out for me. So what I recommend is subscribe to the channel and then hit the bell icon so you will get the notification when I'm releasing the videos. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take a look around uh, on the YouTube channel. We also have uh, other videos here uh, which can help pass the time until the next set of challenges are released. Um, or if you just want to relax, uh, for example, did you know that there's a, a podcast called Road to Infosec with some currently with some sense instructors, but in the future we'll also release episodes with some other Infosec professionals telling their story, how they got involved in information security. So uh, those are long ones. Maybe, maybe those are nice to listen to when you're working on the challenges. Well, that's all for this video and see you in the next one. We're going to transition to Act 2, well, when they going to allow us to release the solutions and when we have the challenge.